everyone, my name is Zarina Aisha Mirren and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you, yes you, how to pass the AZ400 exam. So that is the Azure Designing and Implementing Microsoft DevOps Solutions exam. Yes, that's a mouthful. It's a expert level exam, so expect it to be tough. And yeah, so what will I be covering in this short video? The exam preparation, so the study material and the practice questions that I would recommend, along with the exam structure, such as the logistics, the time, the numbering, the sorry, the amount of questions, the types of questions, how to book the exam, and then I will end this video by sharing a quick overview around my experience. Okay, so just like with any other exam, you would really want to go over the syllabus. So this is the Azure portal. Um, over here you can see you can schedule an exam and if you scroll down further, you'll see a high level overview um, breakdown with the percentage of what each topic is worth for the exam. So if you click on the download exam link, you will get a nice PDF and that PDF will demonstrate what is involved in the exam itself. So over here you can see that there's a lot of um, logging that's involved, uh, the concept of log aggregation, log analytics, um, Azure monitoring, Azure storage. There actually is a lot around this topic uh, in the exam, oddly enough. Um, scrolling down you'll see more around alerting, um, and monitoring using thresholds, health checks, all of that good stuff. And then there's also sections around um, security, access, and there is a lot around Git. So make sure you understand Git. I mean, squash commits, rebasing, uh, integrating also DevOps with Git and uh, how to make use of the Azure dashboard, so the Azure boards that they have. And moving on, you'll see a lot around, again, integrating with um, Jenkins even as well, making use of Azure pipelines, integrating with ServiceNow, Teams, Microsoft Teams, Slack to generate emails. Then there's a big chunk around packaging. So really understand how Azure artifacts works as well as um, NuGet, JFrog, all of that stuff. Then you would see some sections also around licensing, how that works. Um, yeah, developing release pipelines as well as pipelines, um, how to monitor your pipelines, um, CDN, Internet of Things, and then also DSC. So, you know, that's that's a big part in, in the exam as well. So desired state, um, load balancing, and all of that really, yeah. Clearly enough, I actually struggle to find a really good course to follow in order to prepare for this exam, which was really strange because it's such a popular exam. However, I found a really good course on Udemy um, and uh, I forgot the name of this guy, Alan, yeah, Alan, and it's a really good course. Um, the videos were very helpful and it consists of practice labs for you to follow and has two uh, practice tests as well for you to complete. Again, very helpful. You have gone through the study guide and you have completed the course material um, you might want to carry out some more practice papers and WizLab is another tool 
where you can get Microsoft Azure DevOps practice questions. They have around five sets. One of the, um, one of the sets has about 15 questions, which is included, not included with the five, and that is free. So you get free questions. And if you like those questions, you can then purchase the practice papers and you get five and each five of each of the five have around 55 questions they also have an online course as well that you can purchase so looking at the exam structure there are around 40 to 60 questions in the exam i received around 55 you will receive at least one case study which contains around five questions. Once you complete the five questions, you cannot go back and review them. You will also receive around two sets of three questions with a given scenario. Again, once you've completed them, you cannot go back to review those questions. You will also need to get around at least 70% of the questions correct in order to pass the exam and the exam costs around $165 and you will have 180 minutes to complete the exam. You can take this exam online at home um, and you have around 48 hours to reschedule it if you wish. So another important factor is if you want to get the expert badge once you've completed this exam, then you need to ensure that you have at least passed an associate level exam as well. And for this exam, you will need to bring in your ID. So whether you have a driving license or a passport with you, you will need this um, to confirm your identity. You will also need to download their software before the exam. Um, which they offer on the Pearson's portal where you have purchased the exam. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. So overall, I really enjoyed this exam. And the reason why is because I have around, I have a few years of experience, um, work experience, actually, working in the industry, using Git, Azure DevOps, and all of the other tools that Azure has to offer, like Log Analytics, um, but also power using PowerShell and some other tools that were covered in the syllabus. Therefore, I can't stress enough how important it, it is to have hands-on experience um, because it really did help, especially with the kind of troubleshooting aspects of the exam. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like, subscribe and leave your comments down below. Thank you. Bye.